Good morning. Today is Memorial Day. It's a special holiday in our nation and one that I think is so important for us to observe. You know, Memorial Day has such a fascinating history. It was originally back in um, Columbus, Mississippi, we believe April the 25th, 1865, that there was a group of women who went where the Battle of Shiloh had been fought and so many Confederate and Union soldiers were buried. They went there to place flowers on the graves of the Confederate soldiers. But when they got there, they looked over and saw the graves of all the Union soldiers. They were unkept. Things were growing because the Union people were not certainly there in Mississippi. But these mothers, they had a compassion knowing that those boys were somebody's son. Some mother grieved over their dad. Some wife grieved. And so they went over and they placed flowers on the Union graves as well. There seemed to be so much idea and, and interest in trying to create these kind of special services after the Civil War. In fact, as time went on, there are now 25 different locations that claim to have held the very first memorial worship service or the Memorial Day services. It wasn't until actually um, in 1966 that President Lyndon Johnson finally was able to settle it for us and he declared Waterloo, New York to have been the very first Memorial Day celebration on May the 5th, 1866. As I said, there's 29 other places that would disagree. I think the whole point is so many people wanted to remember all of those who had given their lives in fighting that civil war. More people died in that civil war than any other war that we have fought. Originally, this day was called Decoration Day because it was the idea that we're supposed to go decorate the graves of the people we love, the people who fought and who died. It was a time to remember them. Memorial Day, or Decoration Day as it was called, was the, only for the Civil War all the way up until the early 1900s, and then we found ourselves involved in World War I, and we realized that we needed to remember those people as well. So many people were being buried in Arlington Cemetery. Arlington Cemetery had actually been established back by George Washington's adopted grandson, and it was supposed to honor our very first president. It was his daughter who married a young lieutenant named Robert E. Lee. And when Robert E. Lee abandoned um, uh, Arlington and went south to fight the Civil War, the property was then taken over because of its strategic value uh, in, in fighting the Civil War. Today, more than 400,000 people are buried there at Arlington Cemetery. We continued on with this Memorial Day, and it was said that we should always do it on May the 30th. May the 30th was always Memorial Day. It wasn't until 1971, though, that it was decided it would be the fourth Monday, always in May. That would give all federal employees a, a three-day holiday. And so that was established, that we would have it as that day. And then in the year 2000, Congress passed the National Moment of Remembrance Act. And what that was, it was to encourage us at three o'clock local time across the United States on that fourth Monday to ask all of us to pause for one minute and to remember and to honor and to give thanks for those who gave their lives so that our country might be free. I hope you'll think about that today three o'clock today. I know that CBS News and the station has really tried to encourage people, if you play the trumpet or you play the bugle, to go out on your front porch at three o'clock local time today and to play taps. It's 24 notes. It's a very moving piece of music that always moves me to tears when I go stand at the grave and, and I hear that play today. I hope you'll take time on this Memorial Day 
maybe at three o'clock for a minute, but I hope you'll do it throughout the day, that you will take time to remember and to give thanks for those who paid the ultimate price so that you and I could live in a country where we are free, free to dream our dreams, free to choose how we live, free to choose how we worship. We are so blessed. And in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of all the divisiveness in our country right now, sometimes we forget that. But we are still blessed. And there are many people who died to give us that blessing. It's a Memorial Day. I hope you'll take the time to remember and to give thanks. Go out and be safe and have a special and blessed day.